you in need of some menu inspiration? Let's bring in lifestyle expert Lee Moore Sush. She has some great ideas for us. Hey, Lee Moore. Hi, Lee Moore. Hey, guys. Yes. Yeah, so, you know, if you're hosting for Thanksgiving, I got you guys covered today. Yeah. Right, perfect. Well, We're, and you're going to make it easy, right? We uh, love the Lee Moore shortcuts. With, with a word that I can't pronounce, charcuterie? Charcuterie board. Charcuterie board, yes. So, uh, you know, a charcuterie board is all the, you know, all the rage over, over the last few years. I'm going to show you how to make one. So what you want to do is you want to start with three to five different cheeses. So different textures. You want a soft cheese, a hard cheese, a blue cheese, a brie cheese. You can even do like a cheese dip, but just make sure that there are a little bit of a different variety for each one, a different texture. Then you're just going to add the board with, you're going to fill it up with some fruits and nuts and olives, uh, dried fruit, fresh fruit, whatever you want. Um, I love getting these like candied pecans. You can get it right in the deli section. The Marcona almonds also are really great. But the star of a charcuterie board is also the salami rose. Now, it's really easy to do. All you do is you need a shot glass and just some salami. You're going to start wrapping it all around. And then once it's done, if you go to my Instagram, you can see it on the video as well. Oh, once you um, have wrapped uh, the whole shot glass with it, you're going to flip it over and it's going to look like a rose. It is so beautiful. It just, you know, <laughs> is the star of the show and everyone is going to be really impressed with the way that you made that. So that really easy, awesome. really fun. And again, the trick is just fill up the board. Make sure there's no board that, to see anymore. I okay, that's awesome. It. I think I have to look at your Instagram again just to get it one more time. But that's looks fantastic. pretty easy. fantastic. I love it. Okay. And for dessert, we can look like Martha Stewart herself. Yes. So what you want to do, so I'm not a big baker. I actually bought a store-bought pie. So over here, I just have a pumpkin pie. And then I also bought pie dough right in the refrigerator or uh, the freezer section. You're going to take a fall-shaped cookie cutter. So I just have a leaf right here. You're going to make little shapes. You're going to bake them at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes until they get nice and crispy. Then you're just going to add it on top of the store-bought pie and Voila, you have a very Martha Stewart looking uh, pie without, you know, much work. <laughs> That's awesome. Look, I even cut out little turkeys for the pie. <laughs> okay, so that's great. All right, so now side dishes, uh, you know, I'm always looking for like better for you options. So over here, uh, this is one of my new favorites. So this is just mashed sweet potatoes. So you just take up, uh, you just bake some sweet potatoes, then you're going to add some cinnamon. And then my secret ingredient is uh, tahini. So if you're not familiar with tahini, it's just one simple superfood ingredient, which is hulled organic sesame seeds. Over here, I'm using the Mighty Sesame Organic Tahini, which is just so easy to use because you just shake and squeeze. You mix it all up, put it into a little platter. It's so good. You can drizzle it on root vegetables. I made these like pumpkin risottos in little pumpkins. You just bake them. Really fun, really easy, but even better. For the next day sandwich, you're just going to take a pretzel bun. Uh, you're going to add your turkey. You're going to drizzle it right over the top. You're going to add whatever other toppings you have left over, and you just go to town. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Love it. Okay, so you're going to look like an awesome charcuterie board maker. <clears throat> how much How much, what, what, How much? much salami? A pound for around the shot glass? What are we talking? <laughs> Not a pound. <laughs> well, you know, it really depends on the size of your shot glass. So you can actually also use just a champagne flute if you want to as well. Um, I think the container, you know, the, uh, in the deli section, they just sell like a container of the salami. Yes, yeah, so I would say like half a pound. I don't think a pound, I think a pound is too much. I think like a half okay, a pound half is probably pound. what you're looking at. Whatever right. you can fit in the shot glass, I guess. All right. Yeah, whatever fits until you can't make it fit anymore. <laughs> until and then you, you make can't fit, rose. fit any more salami in there. I love it. Great ideas, Lee Moore. Can't, uh, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Uh, I'm going to my in laws, but it's a quiet night. And so, you know, it's just, I think just my in laws and then uh, just my family. So it should be. Nice and calm. All right. Well, if she's we don't see you beforehand, she's going to make a salami rose. If we don't see you beforehand, have a great holiday. <laughs> Bye, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks, right. Lee Moore. And for more information, you can visit LeeMoreTV.com. Just make sure you can also follow her on Instagram. She shares all those great tips there. You can watch the salami again at <laughs> Lee Moore Sus. All the info's on your screen. <laughs> all right.